Hi, this is a supporting video for the first assignment on the Lumen method. Um, the original video was done using Dialogs version 12, and it turns out that the latest version is version 13. So there's some slight differences, but the procedure is the same, or just the functionality of Dialogs has changed a small bit. So the purpose of this video is to do the exact same thing, but just in Dialogs um, version 13. One of the key things that's missing is the simple room planning. And again, this was just a very basic functionality of Dialogs, but we can do the same thing with room planning to do the Lumen method. So I'm going to open a new project. What it'll ask you here basically is, right, for your first room, what is the purpose of the room? And then the sub purpose of that. So this is similar to the IS12464 indoor document that we've discussed in class, where you can pick the purpose of the room and then the sub purpose of that room. I'm going to use the same dimensions and purpose as I did in the first video. So the dimensions are here 30 by 25 by 26. And then it's going to be a room for maintenance and the reflectances are here to work and plane and the maintenance factor. So have those in already here that the length of the room is 30, width 25, and height is 6. And we can put that in. So again, just to be clear, this is not the assignment itself, it's just a demonstration on how to do it on a sample room. So once you run this, it'll create the room. We can have a look at it in 3D to see that. There's the room, and then the other views are the story, the building itself, and the site. But we're only looking at the room for today. So again, in Dialogs, you're either doing one of three things. You're either constructing the physical space that you're putting the light in, you're putting the lights in themselves, or you're doing calculations to work out the illuminance values. So underneath the construction part in the room, we have at this stage got the room, but we want to make sure the other things are set. So the first one is, do we have the working plane set to the correct height a working plane that'll come when we're doing the illuminance on the surfaces but we don't need that for the moment what we do need to make sure though is that the reflectances are set correctly so again in dialogues that's under construction you'll see there's many more options compared to the simple room planning but the one we're looking for here is called surfer materials and you can do it for specific materials, but we just want to change the reflectance of all room surface surfaces. We can see here by default it's set to 70, 50, 20. And that aligns with what the problem is in this one here. But you can change those to whatever you require. As well as that, we can also look at the overall maintenance factor for the site. We can set that to be whatever we need. In this case, it's 0 0.8, and that's already set to 0 0.8. So we can see if the problem specifies 0 0.8, you can set it to 0 0.8 here for the whole site. It is also possible to do it, I think, for the individual rooms as well, if we have a look. So I'll go to story. Um, Just check to see if there's anything for spaces and then for rooms. No, that's okay. We can set the overall maintenance factor here on the on the site. So we have that set as well. Going back, we have the room set up with reflectances, maintenance factor set up. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a suitable luminaire. Now, when you open up Dialogs first, it may have the last one you're using available here, but we want to go and get a suitable luminaire based on the information provided in the brief. So I'm going to open up Loom Search at the same time. And according to the brief, this is an indoor light design. It's going to be hung from the ceiling by two meters. You can see that's down here. So we need some sort of a pendant light. The distribution of the light is your choice, but I'm going to use this for now as an example. And I'm also going to verify that it has to be an LED light. And I'm going to put the lamp flux, I'm going to put the range across what we're looking for because it's saying a lumen output of close to 3,500 as possible. So 
So I'm going to put my search from 3,000 to 4,000 lumens and see if there's any suitable luminaires that show up then in loom search. So we're not getting anything on that first search. Okay. So this one here is saying ceiling mounted and pendant. So we can go with that, have a look at it. You can see the output is 3,783 lumens for each lamp. So, sorry, for each luminaire. So it's close to what we want. You can spend time searching for a better fit if you want, but for now, this demonstration, that'll do. So what I'm gonna do now is import this lights information into Dialux by hitting send to Dialux. If you're asked, do you want to do this? Say yes, open link. And you'll see on the left here, it updates from a new light in Dialux. Now, if you want also, you can place particular arrangements, rectangular, circular lines, or individual lights into this space using these options here. But we're going to use automatic arrangements for spaces because this uses the lumen method in the background to work out the appropriate amount of luminaires. So once I select that, it looks at the room dimensions, the light output, the maintenance factor, and the utilization factor. And this, in this case, it's determined that I need 99 luminaires for this space. So some of the things we have to verify to make sure we're correct is, okay, are these mounted at the correct height? We know that they're mounted two meters below the ceiling. So really they should be mounted at four meters, which makes them lower. And what you can do here is rerun the simulation for those lights. So if you select the lights, scroll down to estimate calculator and hit apply again, we'll see it's reduced down to 90 luminaires in that scenario. The other thing is to make sure we have the right illuminance set. So the target here by based on the room choice that we use is 200, but I've specified that it should be 250. So I'll apply again, and it's reduced it again now down to 72 luminaires. So different spaces require different amount of luminaires. But using your automatic arrangements for spaces, that's what it's using in the background is the Lumen method. So if you're watching the 12, the version 12 version of this video, you'll notice that I used a different luminaire and we had a different output. So again, different lights will produce different um, different solutions. Okay, I hope you find this useful. Thank you.